Hello everyone, my name is Irving Mini Rodriguez. In this video, I'll present our work, a soft online model for bug duplication. Identify duplicate bug reports is an important text, especially for large bug trap systems. Manually triage reports in those systems is impractical. So for to solve this problem, we can use methods that automatically detect duplicate bug reports. So this problem is called duplicate bug report detection, bug report duplication, or simply bug duplication. Many previous learning methods addressed this problem using CMEs neural networks. Those network uh, generate the report representation independently. Basically, each report is represented using the same vector. But this can be problematic because the feature relevance, because the feature relevance may depend on the comparison. Podar, Podar tried to overcome the shortcoming by using a pooled word vector created from uh, based on the report, and this pool word vector helps us to better select the features from a report. That's are important for the for the comparison. This, this increases the feature interaction. However, again, we are limited by a fixed length representation of a report. So in our work, we propose a soft online model for bug duplication as ABD. Basically, we in this in this model, we dynamically generate the fixed length representation of the reports. So this representation depends on the token of the other report. So this model received as input a pair of reports, the query Q and the candidate C, and outputs a pair of bits of Q being duplicate of C. So this is the architecture of our model. So this model has two modules, the categorical module and the textual module. The categorical module compares the category data of the two reports, while the textual module uh, compares the textual data of the reports, the query, and the candidate. So the classifier receives the outputs from these two modules, and then output the probability of Q being duplicate of C. So in this, in this presentation, we're going to focus on the categorical module. Oh, sorry, in the textual module. Because you can find more information about the categorical module in your paper. So the first layer of the textual module is an embedding layer. The, this embedded, the, the textual embedding layer contains a word embedding layer that represents each one of the tokens as a vector. And then we concatenate, uh, we create a field embedding to the to these vectors. Basically, the field embedding gives them for provide information about their origin of the of the vector if they came from the summary or description. And finally, we pass them to a fully connected layer with a residual connection that outputs the final representation of the words. The word embeddings. Then we have a soft online comparison. That's the core of our, of our work. So in this layer, there are three steps. Uh, the first step calculates a similar matrix X S. The second one generates complex vector. And the third updates the word embedding based on its corresponding complex vector. So to calculate, so the, ma the matrix, the symmetric matrix, uh, in the symmetric matrix, the rows are corresponding to the words in the query and the columns the, to the words in the candidate. Each element is called score, similar score, and is a similar between the words from the, from words from the query and the other one from the candidate. To calculate the score, we use the word embedding. Basically, we do a dot product of the word embedding, and we divide by the squared root 
of the length of the word embed. The next step is, is generate the context vectors. So basically, the context vectors has contains the relevant features of reports that are related to a specific word. So for that, you're going to use the similar score. So if you want to calculate the context, context vector of the query, we're going to use the rows. So for example, for the third query token, we're going to use a third row, which contains the similar score with that specific query token with the candidate tokens. Uh, <clears throat> so before using this score, we're going, we have to, we have to normalize it using a softmax. So we're going to apply it, a softmax, and then you're going to generate, generate uh, an attention scores. So in this case, it would be four attention score, each one of the score related to a word in the candidate. So uh, to calculate the context vector, we multiply each one the the attention score to its its corresponding word embedding, and we sum the product the product of the multiplication. Basically, this is a weighted average, and the and the weights are learned by the neural network. So this is a general equation to calculate the context vector of a query. We do perform the same operation to the candidate. So instead of using the row, we use the columns. So you apply a softmax in the column. And then in this case, you have four attention scores. And then, and then we use this score to, <clears throat> to calculate the weighted average of the word embeddings in the, in the query. So after calculating the context vector of the query and the candidate, we update the word embedding based on its corresponding context vector. So we have a fully connected layer, and this fully, fully connected layer receives the squared the different the square difference of the two vectors and the element wise. And then the output of this fully connected layer is sum is add to the original word embedding. So basically, we are adding information about the comparison of these of these two vectors. And some it, it, we can even like highlight some features that can be important for the comparison. So the next step is the texture encoder. So in this layer, the, the next show, the texture encoder layer, we have a B by LSTM. The by LSTM aggregates contextual information to the words embeddings. And then we apply a mean and max pooling to generate a fixed, to generate, to generate a fixed length, uh, length presentation of the reports. So P, Q represent the fixed length, length of the query and PC, the fixed length of the candidate. And finally, we have a comparison layer. Basically, it's a fully connected layer that receives each one of each one of the fixed length of the reports and compare them. So in our evaluation methodology, we use a rank-based methodology similar to some. Basically, our method Gener uh, generate a ranked list of k most like duplicate reports. We see this list is going to send to triage team to expect to inspect and and check if it's duplicate or not a new report. We also for this methodology we measure the ranked list quality. We use map and recall rate as metrics. So map map uh, indicates how near is the correct bug from the beginning of the list. And recall rate at K 
it's the percentage of list of a size k that contains the correct uh, correct bug report. Uh, we preserve the report submission in our methodology. So we use four BTS to test our 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 method. So data from Eclipse, OpenOffice, Mozilla, and Netflix. The test data sets are the purities employed by Sun. The training data set are reports emitted before those periods. And the validation set, it's the 5% of the latest reports in the training data set. So we use a time window. So basically, uh, the number of reports emitted increases over time. This increases the runtime to the packet duplicate bug reports and neg negatively affect the performance of the method. So the solution is search for reports emitting a specific range of days before a new report. We use a time window of three years, but, uh, but we compare our method using different uh, time window of one year in your paper. So, as we we use as comp competing methods BM twenty five FX wrap TME pair and triplet and jewel. So these are the results. As you can see, uh, as you can see, inside of the bracket is the standard deviation of five runs, and outside is the mean. So as you can see, we achieve the best performance in all data sets. So this is the results using recall rate, rate at k in Eclipse. So we use the k is 20. And the, our method is the blue line. You can see if there is a shade. The shade is the same deviation. So in the we are be, we, the best. We achieve the best performance in Eclipse, in OpenOffice, NetBeans, Mozilla. So SABD significantly outperforms the compared methods in all data sets. So this is a, a summary of the results. So basically is the improvement of CBD over the second best method. As you can see, our results are much better in the second best method. We also, we also perform a ablation study. Basically with this ablation study, we want to, to know if our mechanism is important our mechanism, our soft alignment is important for, for our model. So first we remove the soft line compares to see how, how the performance, uh, how good we are, we achieve the performance. And we also replace the soft attention, attention alignment with a mechanism similar to Podar. So as you can see, uh, when you remove the soft line comparison, there is its negative effect the performance of the model. The same when you replace the soft attention alignment, and when you use this the map, we have the same results. So we we, we can conclude that our new network as a more powerful architecture than CMEs near networks and PODAR. So basically, uh, the way that we dynamically focus on distinct information from our report helps her to better compare the reports. We also can conclude that summarizing report formation to a fixed length presentation is a bottleneck of PODAR. So our contribution is we propose a soft line model that is based on a more powerful architecture than previous methods. Our methods and the baselines are evalu evaluated using a more realistic methodology. This work is the first to compare different deep learning methods using the rank approach. 
our method achieves state-of-the-art performance on all, on all considered data sets. Thank you.